Hello, my lovelies. I don't know if you're going to be able to see me very well because I've got you on an angle. The window is there and, yeah, my phone's plugged in and I can't stretch you anymore. So, yeah. Anyway, hi. This is my first attempt at vlogging since... Wow, it's got to have been... Was it weekend before Christmas? I think it was the weekend before Christmas, yeah. Absolutely crazy. I don't know. I don't think I've ever left it that long before. Don't think anyway, but thanks for all your lovely messages, you know, just checking on me, see if I'm okay, that you were worried and you were missing me. So yeah, I love getting messages from you guys. It just it puts a smile on my face, especially when I'm feeling down. And um yeah, that's exactly what was going on. I was feeling very, very down. Right, I've got wet hair. I've just got out of the shower. So I've got my grey hairs coming through. Can't afford, it, afford any hair dye. Absolutely skint. But, oh wow. That's what this little thing comes in. Just a bit on the little grey hairs. Um, so yeah. We're still waiting on our money back. I can't bother to talk about that. But anyway, I'm just getting ready for the day. And I thought I'm up in the morning. It's Monday as well. January the 15th, I think it is. And I'm just getting ready to go and post some parcels through Vinted and Depop. So... Yeah, at the moment, if you didn't know, I put a post on YouTube on, I think it was Saturday. And just saying, you know, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged for ages. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just letting you know I'm okay. And I also mentioned on there my new Vinted account, which is Jules. I'll put it on the screen, 09. Uh, so, yeah, I've uh, set up a new Vinted and it's just selling fashion jewellery so silver plated or gold plated there's some like stainless steel stuff on there um just really nice casual and glam jewellery so yeah some like retro stuff on there some glitzy stuff you know earrings like this like the huggy earrings with the um stars and moons i've got i think i've got a couple of pairs of those so if you go on there and you don't see um what you're looking for just message me either on vinted or in the comments box here or my instagram which is sean bosch underscore rocky um and just um let me know what you're looking for and i might have it and if not i might be able to get hold of it for you so yeah just let me know and um I will try and get hold of it. So I sell earrings, necklaces, bracelets, um, anklets, um, like ear cuffs. Um, I can get, I think I can get like belly bars. What else is there? Um, key rings. I can get key rings as well. So yeah, plenty of stuff. So, yeah, I'm enjoying doing that and it seems to be doing quite well. Um, things aren't mega expensive. There's some more, you know, higher priced ones than others because some are like, you know, gold plated and silver plated and, you know, quite chunky, heavy um, earrings and things. Or I think I've sold some sets as well, like a necklace and earrings. I do that as well. But um, anyway. Moving on, because you don't all want to hear about that. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day. I am going to put my eye wax on before I put my skincare on. Because, well, I've already done my um, cleanser and toner. But before I put my moisturising primer on, I'm just going to wipe my eyebrows on. Because I've heard that your eyebrows... Stay put better if you put it on before your skincare. Because it doesn't really go over 
the um, creams and serums though. Yeah. I probably should have done it before I did my toner, but oh well. We'll give it a go, see what it's like. And I've got some new foundation to test out. I haven't bought this because I have skin test. But um, it's this one here. So it's the, um, is it the Ghislaine? Or Ghislaine? It's the Terracotta Le Tint Ghislaine Paris. Um, yeah. Healthy Glow. Oh, I showed you the, the French side. That one there. Healthy Glow Natural Perfection Foundation, 24 hour, no transfer, 95% naturally derived ingredients. So this is not sponsored. I've not been paid for it. I've just been sent it to do a review from Influencer. So you may have heard me mention Influencer before. Anybody can use it. Um, they, they do like to send things to influencers people that use social media basically so you know if you if you're on instagram quite a lot or tiktok or youtube um and you make content and um yeah you can go on there and you just fill out all your details um then you sort of do a little you fill out this information about what what you like what you have what you've tested previously like makeup food pet items loads of stuff on there um uh, like technical stuff electronics things like that so yeah what i'll do is i'll leave the link to influence that in the description box below and go over and have a look because i've been i've been sent foundation different perfumes um like a, a body set um i've got a tap coming a black tap for my sink in the bathroom um tools for Matthew. Um what else? Food, loads of stuff. So yeah, go on and have a look if that's your thing. So right, I've I've carved out my eyebrows now. I'm just gonna pop this um the Vita Base Moisturizing Primer from the Cura. This is really nice, it's just very perfumey, but it's a nice smell. It's nice. I've just had the radio on before I come out here because I can't bother to go and get my camera. I've just jumped on because I felt like it and I have my phone up here, so I thought, why not? So I've just had some. Um, food delivered i'm not going to do a food haul it's only through delivery but i've had to use that klarna you know where you buy now pay later i think because we are skint and i don't mind telling you it's because it's you know a lot of people are going through the same thing so we shouldn't be um afraid to you know talk about money or if you're struggling and yeah but hopefully, fingers crossed, things are going to get better soon with Matthew's work and stuff. But talking about Matthew. So I did put on the post on Saturday that Matthew's not been well and he was so poorly. It was just after Christmas or just before New Year. I think it was the 29th of January. Well, a few days before, he'd started um, getting some pain. When he went to the toilet, um, when he went for a wee wee, and um, he just ignored it. He thought he was going to go away, like drank cranberry juice and things like that, um, and it didn't. So, come the 29th of January, it was, was that Friday or Saturday? I can't remember now. I know it was it was at night. The doctors wasn't open. Um, I went upstairs to check on him because he'd been really poorly all day, and he was all day. He would we'd had to change the bed, all the bed sheets, two or three times. He was lying on towels. He 
he must have changed about 10 times. No lie, he was absolutely soaking wet. And then I went up to see him. No, he called me. He rang me while I was downstairs and said, can you, can you come up? I need you. So I went upstairs and he had uncontrollable shakes. Like he was he was having a seizure or something. He was really, really bad. Um, and I said, oh, I, I can't do this now. I've either got to call an ambulance or I'll call 111. He said, call 111. So I did that. Um, I spoke to one of their, um, I don't know, one of their call staff. They said that I'd get a call within two hours because it sounded quite urgent. And it actually took, so I rang them at 11 and they called me at, I think it was about half an hour, it was about 10 and a half hours later. I did call up between that chasing it and a nurse called me to say that the, um, you know, the triage nurse was, called me to say that the doctor was running behind so you know it's completely understandable especially at the weekend um but yeah when they called me um they wanted him to go in straight away to our walk-in centre so our son drove him down and um they tested his urine and they said that he had a kidney infection the doctor basically had a little bit of a go at him because he said why did you leave it this long and Matthew still managed to say, I just, I thought he was going to go away, but it obviously didn't. So he was put on some 500 milligram, really strong antibiotics for 10 days. He finished those. And then on the 11th day, we had to call doctors again because he was getting the, the pain when going to the toilet again. So yeah, he's currently on some milder antibiotics, but some antibiotics again so hopefully it will go now if not i think it's gonna have to have some tests and stuff see what's going on because it's not very um common in men to get a urine infection it's more common in women so yeah he was in so much pain in his back with his kidneys as well really really bad pain so it was horrible seeing him like that but he's you know he's a lot better now but um, he is signed off work at the moment. He can't drive to work or anything. He's just, yeah, he's he's absolutely drained from it. Um, both of our mental health has not been great over Christmas. It's probably been the worst Christmas since Isabel passed. And it's even worse than the first Christmas that we had. I'm not even joking. I, We have really, really suffered. And I, I don't know why it's been worse, but... It, it just has been. So I'm just trying to... I'm drying my hair naturally. I'm just going to have it curly. Um, so yeah, we were just really, really struggling. It's, it's, it was an awful one. And I hate to come here and, and put, you know, a downer on everyone. But, you know, I, I vlog about my life. And I just thought, I'm going to have to come on and tell you where I've been anyway. And I've got to tell you that I've been down. So, yeah. I'm afraid that's uh, that's how it is. But I'm um, feeling, you know, good today, a bit better. So I'm going to go out with Rocky, take him for a walk, post my parcels, because they're in that, like, in post locker thing. And then the Hermes, um, not Hermes, every, they used to be called Hermes. The every ones are in a greengrocer's, not far from me. It's, it's a bit of a walk. But, um, yeah, I'll just tie Rocky outside. He'll be all right. But anyway, I'm going to now try my foundation. So this is it. It comes in this lovely frosted glass bottle. Um, I love the top of it. I don't know whether you can make it out. Can you see that there? It's really cute. It's a pump. Now, as you can see, it looks like I've used it. I've literally tried it on my hand. I haven't actually tried it out on my face, so... Let's give it a whirl. So what should I do? I think I'm going to pump it on my hand. Just two pumps. And then I'll go in with... I'm just going to go and wet my beauty blender. This is a bit gross, but let me go and wet this one. I'm back. Let me do my tea. I think it's going cold. I've wet my beauty blender. Now it is looking... Oh, a little bab, bubble there. Um, it's looking slightly dark, so let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Because obviously online, you 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 don't know, do you? You can't. 
you can't swatch it. Oh, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Let me just blend it out and I'll show you. Put you in front of the window. Just ignore the background. Still got to put my Christmas stuff away. But um, I don't think that looks too bad. I don't know if you can see properly. Uh, I mean, my skin's not great at the moment because I've not been looking after it. But it might look a bit orangey on camera, but in real life, it's not too bad. So I quite like that. So let's do the other side of me face. I should have like a headband on or something, shouldn't I? I don't know where my, um, where's my headband for? Is it in my makeup? I'll have a look in a minute. Is it in here? I'll have to just whack this one on. It's like the fake plaited hair thing. Oh, this is what I hate about this one, the fake hair. <laughs> Right, well, I'll keep out on my face anyway. But yeah, there we go. Good stuff at the background. All my Christmas stuff, that. Right? I've still got to do that box up. I couldn't find my tape. I think I left it in. But doing my parcels the other day, I left my tape in the back of my car. I've got to go and get that. Um, yeah, I need to tape up the box and it's going up today because I'm popping to my mum's tonight so I'll get my tape thing sorted. Now, I quite like that. That's very natural and it's good coverage as well because it's that's only a thin layer and it's covered up. My dark spot there, not fully, but if I went in with another load, yeah. Looking all right. It's a little bit clinging round here, but I think that's where I've done my um, my eyebrows and didn't clear the the wax off properly. So that's my own fault. Let's just wipe that off my hand. See how we go with that. Wear it throughout the day. And let you know. Well, I'm choosing my Liqueur. Brightening concealer. I love this one. It's really good. Voila. So what has everyone else been up to? And is everyone else okay? And did you have a good Christmas? Was it quiet? Have you been down? Um, you know share with me talk about it it's good to talk i know and i should have come on here and talked to all you that and i didn't i i need to start using my own what do you call it thingy me dick i can't even think what i'm on about now just ignore me ignore me did anybody used to watch the program id on with johnny vegas and there was a bloke in it that was a plumber. Really like scrawny looking bloke with red hair. Um, and he, he used to say, ignore me, ignore me. Uh, let me know if you used to watch that program. I used to really like it. Um, yeah, but it's not... So not everyone's cup of tea, but I used to really enjoy watching that. I just put a bit of colour on my face. The BFF Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting. Look a bit around. You know what? I think this is really drying out. I need to give it a spritz. Do what I can't wait to do. Go and do a proper shop. Oh, that's another thing as well. My stepnan has been in the hospital. 
um, she's still in now. So she went in just before Christmas after um, she had an infection. So she was really bad with that. And then they said that she was okay to go home. She didn't seem okay to go home, but they sent her home anyway. Um, so she'd come out on Christmas Eve and went home. And then my stepdad's brother was going up on Christmas Day to have dinner with her and, you know, to look after her. And he got there on Christmas Day and couldn't get in and she'd had a fall. So I'm not sure how long she'd been there, but um, he couldn't get in because the key was in the door. So they had to call the um, police and an ambulance to get in and to uh, take her back to hospital. So she went back to hospital on Christmas Day and she's still in there now. And she's she ended up getting COVID as well. So she's been on oxygen. I went and seen her, when did I go and see her? Was it last Thursday? I think it was last Thursday or last Wednesday. I went to see her and um, yeah, she was still on oxygen then and she looked so poorly, bless her. So yeah, we've had that over Christmas as well. It's just, just not been, it really wasn't a good year last year. I'm hoping that this year it's going to be so much better. Because it just, it, I tell you what, with it being a rubbish year as well, it doesn't help the grieving process. It really doesn't. All this of our um, the fraud on the account and everything. And the bank are being absolutely shocking. They really are. They just don't care at all. They are putting the blame on us. I don't know how they can. But, yeah, we've... Um, We've gone to the financial ombudsman now and we're just waiting to hear back from them because I, don't, I just don't know what to say about the bank. I really don't. Just that they're rubbish. So, yeah. I've put some bronzer on. Some Physicians Formula Butter bronzer. And I'm just waxing on, on my eyes as well. Shadow, so I can increase like that, and then as I always do, I'm gonna get my liqueur a quad, and I just use this one here and just pop that on my lid with my finger. All that and then let's do my brows. I'm just gonna whack a bit of pencil on. What's that fluff on there? Just my micro pencil. Just fill in a little bit. I don't need filling in much. I haven't edited anything for ages. I'm trying to do like um I think is it called a montage of all my videos from last year, a 2023 montage. I'm gonna look an idiot if it's not called that now, I know. But um, yeah, I'm trying to do that at the moment and I'd lost all my footage off my laptop. So I had to go back and sort of screen record the ones that I've put on YouTube. If anyone knows how to do that better, Rather than screen recording, how to get my videos off YouTube. Can I do it in YouTube Studio? I don't know. I'm clueless because it's just, it's taken me ages to do the screen recording and then edit each video from the screen recording. So yeah, if you, you know what I'm on about and I could do it an easier way, please let me know. Because I would be so grateful for some help. I'm not, I'm not the best when it comes to stuff like that, technical stuff. I mean, I could, probably could ask my son. I don't even think to do that. He doesn't live with me on it anymore, which, you know, people that usually watch my vlog know that he doesn't live here anymore. He's, he's got his own place with his girlfriend. But I'm sure he would pop back to show me if I asked him. 
I just like to go through my eyebrows and just sort of, you know, blend that pencil in and just fluff them out a bit. I think that one's a bit darker. I don't know why I've put so much in this one. Right, that will do. So now I just want to get a liner, um, a liner brush. Where's the liner brush? Yes. Okay, I'm going to I'm just going to use this Rival palette by Liqueur. I've, I've used loads of Liqueur stuff, haven't I? I'm just going to use this dark brown here. I'll just do like a bit of a wing, just a little one. Just to make me look a bit more awake. Oh, that'll have to do. I'll fix it with my mascara. Mascara? Oh, I haven't been making one for ages. I put a little bit on last week to go to the hospital. I hate leaving the house without makeup on, but um, when was that actually? It might have been Monday. I think it was last Monday I went actually, because we've been to see Izzy in the daytime. Yeah, it was. It was last Monday, not last Wednesday. Was that the last time I had makeup on? I think it was, wasn't it? I'm a hermit at the moment. Massive hermit. I've done my bloody mascara, I've done my bloody face spray. Face spray, setting spray jar. Face spray, what more about? What more about? Is off my arm. Put that stuff over these greys as well. I look old with these. Seeing as my hair's dyed, I look younger again. This bloke comes to the door the other day dropping off um, a delivery, and um, it was from some uh, cigarettes from Raffio, so I had to give my date of birth. And as I said, I don't know, which is 28th or 2nd, 84. And um, he said, oh my God, I thought you were going to say 94. 10 years younger, eh? So that means that I would nearly be 30, whereas I'm nearly 40. It is my 40th birthday next month. February 28th, I turn 40. So, it's officially the countdown to becoming 40. Ugh. I don't want to be 40. I don't feel 40. Like, I never thought I'd be 40. Of course I thought I'd be 41 or about. But, <laughs> you know, when you're younger, you like, you keep, oh, it's just gone so quick. Time has just flown by, it really has. Absolutely flown by. I love this mascara, it's so good. I've had it ages as well now, it's lasted so long. I love like putting it quite thick on the outer lashes. So it like flicks out. Looks nice. I love that. A tiny bit of blush on, just keep dropping everything. So annoying. Um, still using my 17 blush, it's really good. I should have used the 17 bronzer as well, actually, that's really good. I've seen um, a few YouTubers using my 17 makeup now, so. Good thinking, Tara from Tara Beauty. You got me this for our collaboration. Beautiful blush. Beautiful. You can see that hair going across there. It's, that is not my hair. It's part of this bloody headband. All right. 
bit more of this. I'm just wearing a hoodie today. It's nice and sunny out, but the sky is clear and it's very cold. So, right, I didn't drink my tea. I have to warm it up when I go down. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my greys before I take this headband out. And I'll literally just paint over. It looks like a lipstick. And when I first got this and tried it out, I didn't like it. And I don't know why, because it's actually really good. We do this side. You see, there's quite a few greys. I'll do this side and I'll show you. I've done it. Right. How much better that looks, and then there's that side. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. Obviously, you have to wash it out, but I'll send you that for a couple of days. Just wash it out overnight. No chance, buddy. Do not wash my hair every day. Usually, wash it once a week, sometimes twice. Call it a forehead over in commentary. Do you say forehead or forehead? <laughs> I always say forehead. Or is it better not knowing? <laughs> it's a cotton in for the bow anyway. I think that. Is okay. Probably put a little bit more in here. Wet my hair dryer is downstairs from where I washed Rocky and blow dried in. I forgot to bring it back up. <laughs> Does anyone else do that with their dog? Blow dry on. I just do want a cool setting, I don't, don't use the normal heat one. Right, sorry about that. My phone just rudely cut off saying I hadn't got any storage, so I've had to sort that out. But um I put my hoodie on. I told you I'm just wearing a hoodie today, my t-shirt underneath, blue, dark blue jeans. I'll put my trainers on. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my hair to dry. And then um I'll be off. Be off, be off. I was gonna say out and off and it come out like that. So, yeah, I'll probably catch up with you later if I don't, and sorry, and I'll pop this one up, but I'll probably say hi when I get back later, or we'll take you with, take you on my little walk, so see you in a bit. Right, it is now the evening, and quarter past six, I'm going to make lasagna for dinner, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I uh, oh, just caught something in the corner of my eye then, that was well weird. So, took all my parcels, managed to get them all in the impost locker, which is brilliant because sometimes it gets really full and then I have to go back. But I managed to get them all in, so yeah, got rid of them all, popped to my mum's for a bit, took Rocky on a, on a good walk, and it's absolutely freezing now, so I need to shut these curtains because it's too cold. Hold have these paper. Matthew's put this stupid big, <laughs> big big peg on the big curtains. I've got washing up to do. It, this is this is what I keep doing. I keep leaving the washing up. So that's got to go in the dishwasher. But I'm just gonna get this mince on and I'll put you there. Shall I put you there? Move me oil out of the way let me just plug in this little light it be a bit better with the light on a bit better a little bit yeah just gonna get some dinner on and that is it really that is my night watching a bit of telly and Eat a lasagna. Oh, got a feed rocket. We'll do some chicken. 
I've been buying frozen chicken breast and popping them in the air fryer and they come out so nice. I don't know if anyone's tried them before, but I couldn't get any fresh ones, so I ordered some a couple of weeks ago. And um, yeah, they're really nice. So, chuffed with that. My lips are so dry and chapped. Literally from just going out and walking the dog today. Right, let's get this as I you want. I thought I'd jump on and say bye <laughs> this one. I'm more awkward and acting like a bit of a weirdo on these uh on these vlogs now, on this vlog that um, I decided to do today. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. I will probably pop in a photo of the lasagna at the end if I remember. And um, I'll probably see you again this week, fingers crossed. So I hope everyone is doing okay. Leave me a comment, give this one a like, and also subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.